Hey, thanks for listening to the show. We don't have an advertising budget. What we rely on is you. You, the listener, to spread the word. Let your friends know about the show. Post it on Facebook. Share it. Tweet about us. We love that kind of stuff. And remember, if you want to really support the Douche Canoe, the best way to do it, of course, is to go to DaveAtwood.com, go to our sponsors page, and if you're going to be buying anything, click on the Amazon banner, buy it there. You get it at the same price. It takes just as long to get to you, and we get a little love. Thanks for listening, and thanks for spreading the word. to go I'm standing here outside your door I hate to wake you up to say goodbye But the dawn is breaking It's early morning The taxi's waiting He's blowing his horn So lonesome, I could die. So kiss me and smile for me. Tell me that you wait for me. Hold me like you never let me go. Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane. And we're back. I, I'd like to say I refreshed my beverage, but again, sans la booze. No booze for Dave. Alyssa's left us for the evening. It's uh, sad you guys didn't get a chance to meet her, but I am now joined in the studio by Robert K., the singer, songwriter, talented musician, and grandma. How are you guys doing? We're great. <laughs> hey, granny. <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, first of all, i, I got to say, Robert, I love your voice. Oh, thank you very much. That's, I, I'm envious of that, uh, that deep baritone you got there. It's... It's working for me. Yeah, I did nothing to earn it, so <laughs> I'm not, just grateful Not for a lot it. of bourbon and uh, cigars, no? No, no. <laughs> wow, wow, okay. I inherited it from my dad. Oh, well, lucky guy. So, the the one of the things that uh, uh, caught our attention here at Outmatch Studios about you guys was you had a video <laughs> that you wrote a song, and this video just exploded on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah it, was, it was sort of fun. We were... I, we were downstairs in our in our own little studio, and I was sitting right beside the keyboard, and uh, we our, our grandson was turning eighteen, and yeah. Mark says, "Mark is also grandma." Correct. She, yeah. she, <laughs> said, she says, uh, "We should write Josh a song," and so I hit this C seven chord on the keyboard. Kung, you got eighteen year old birthday blues, and she, oh, he would love that. <laughs> And so we went out to dinner and wrote down every word we could think of that rhymed with blue, and, <laughs> and came back and wrote this little song, and then just set up a camera and shot it, and put it up on YouTube, and sent him the link, thinking, "Well, he'll see it, he'll and get a laugh." Yeah, out that's out of it. the end of it, right? Be, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, somebody sent it off to Comedy Central to Tosh.0, oh, and, and the things went crazy from <laughs> and, there. <laughs> and there it goes. We came home one night. We'd been we checked and went, "Wow." 250 people have seen this. Josh must be sharing this with a lot of his friends. And then we came back a couple of hours later and looked, and it was up to like 3,000 views. And we went, <laughs> <laughs> Something else is going on. <laughs> yeah. And then we were getting calls from uh, people going, if you haven't had calls from media outlets, you will. And uh, it ended up on CNN. And when it, when it got on CNN, it became news. And then it ended up on, we got interviewed by Global and by CTV. And, mm -hmm. and now out with Magic Studios. Yeah, yes, I mean, exactly. this, this is how it goes, right? Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> but he's at the peak, honey. There you go. That's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, okay, so you've been, uh, you've been a musician for the last 40 years? Yeah, something like that. Well... It's interesting. I've done different projects. I started out in a little trio playing legions and stuff sure. in, in when I was in my 20s. And, and uh, then I played uh, 
you know, the next project was a sort of a, um, a rock and roll band. It was a show band mm-hmm. doing, uh, I don't know if you remember Shauna Na from the... I do. <laughs> so it was that kind of a band. And, yeah. And uh, so we had a full floor show and the whole thing, and, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And uh, then I was just, it was just too crazy. And, and I had kids, little kids, and I wasn't seeing them on the weekends and stuff. So I had to stop that. And then I sang in an acapella group. Yeah. For yeah. 14 years or so called Cornerstone. And I sang, and of course, in each one of these groups, I was always the bass singer. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't. Can you imagine that? Yeah. So, you know, in Cornerstone, uh, one of the jokes I tell in my show that I have now is, you know, the song Blue Moon. Um, I've sung it for 30 odd years and I never knew the words because in both vintage rock and roll band, the show band, mm-hmm. and the a cappella group, I had the same part, which was I never knew the words. So, <laughs> So now I do the jazz version of it. Of course, I had to learn the words, but but uh, yeah. So I always was the bass singer in a, in a group, mm-hmm. and uh, and then when I started, decided to do this project, I thought, well, you know, there's all these songs I really love. I just want to sing songs I love. Yeah. And I put them in keys where my voice is comfortable, and uh, and I went, if people like it, they like it. And if they don't, well. It, I like it. So <laughs> now, you, are you working solo now? Yeah, just solo. Well, um, that's not out of choice. Mostly, uh, I prefer to work with a, a keyboard player. Mm-hmm. The, the last album that I did, I worked with a guy by the name of Darcy Phillips, who's a marvelous uh, producer, um, keyboard player. And that yeah. uh, that's Lessons in Love. The Lessons in Love CD, correct? And uh, and so uh, when. Uh, when I can, I always I would prefer to go out with with Darcy and perhaps with a drummer and a bass player. And uh, um, but the money's not always there for that in the venues that you know you can get gigs at. Right. So yeah. I have sort of worked it out so that I can do it on my own with my trusty iPad. And uh, it's not as much fun, and it's not as um, you can't get as much feeling from the the background accompaniment. Uh, but it's uh, it's doable, and so uh, I'll go out and do that because I play both guitar and sax. Mm-hmm. And uh, so on the saxophone songs, you got to have something comping the the chords along so uh, that's what i use the ipad for and on the guitar songs most of them i just play guitar yeah and i i'm uh, uh i can get by on the guitar <laughs> you know, so uh, i know i know just enough guitar to win the ladies over that's it i just figured i'm just gonna learn enough guitar and that's and that's all that's all i've I've always loved to sing more than to play and so uh i you know all the things i've learned in the guitar have been so that i could sing Mm -hmm. and uh but i finger pick and you know so i can do some of those james taylor songs and cat stevens and sure yeah yeah so when did you start doing all this? Like, did, were you were you like just a wee little tot? You know, you pick up no some... actual actual fact. I well, I started playing actually in my twenties, um, and I got too old to play football locally. Is what happened. Mm-hmm. I would have had to move to the mainland to keep playing. Right. And, uh, and I took up the guitar. My dad had started this music store, which ended up being Nelson's Music. Which, oh, really? Which was a, was a fixture in town for a lot oh, of yeah. years. Yeah, it was. It still is. And uh, the, the sign is still on the side of the building. They won't let them take it down. It's a heritage landmark. So uh, so you're around that all the time. Mm-hmm. So uh, so I picked up the guitar and, and played. That's when I played in the first band I played, and I was a guitar player and, and was a singer. And... Uh, but interestingly, when I first started playing the guitar, I would go and do these little gigs at my church. And uh, and one day, somebody came up to me and said, You sang really good tonight. You hardly went flat at all. <laughs> what a compliment. <laughs> <And I> went, <laughs> what? You hardly suck at all tonight. It was yeah. awesome. Yeah. And so... Uh, <laughs> So yeah, so I, it was. I'm sort of a late bloomer, uh-huh. you know. And I was did a, I did a course with a with a, um, a guy who's a Juno nominated engineer, mm-hmm. and uh, I took one of my tracks off one of my recordings, and he went, "Is that you?" And I said, "Yeah." He said, "Wow." And then later he said, "How come I've never heard of you?" And it's interesting that this, this what I'm doing now, the you know the jazz stuff and that. Um, 
I've only been doing it for about a year. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, where I really started working on my, you know, being a lead vocalist as opposed to being the bass singer in a group. Right. And uh, really trying to work on that voice and developing my sound Mm -hmm. and getting the control and all those things. And part of that was from the album when I started working with Darcy Phillips on it. He was giving me such great tracks to sing over i'm going oh, man i can't i can't suck when i'm singing over <laughs> i've got to really work at this and so uh, so that was really incentive so okay so let's just uh, talk real quick here you've got uh two cds here right and uh we got robert k just me right. and lessons in love right now and these are both available on your website you bet and the website is robert-k.com and you're also on facebook Yes, yeah. Okay. So well, just find it through the web. I think it's Robert K. Facebook dot com slash Robert K. Music. Yeah. Perfect. And if anyone wants to check out Robert, he is uh, playing Wednesday 6 to 8 at... Uh, Evidar's. At Evidar's Bistro. That's in Langford, B.C. Yeah, on Pete Road. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. It's a nice little quaint little place it is there. It's a beautiful, it's beautiful little place. And you're there every Wednesday. Yeah. And if you want to hear Robert Kay's uh, beautiful baritone vocals, you can go through DaveHoward.com, click on the yes. Amazon banner, <laughs> and it'll take you right there. You don't pay any more for it. We just get a little love for it. Absolutely. <laughs> there you go. Anyways, folks, thanks so much for downloading the show. And uh, thank you guys for coming here, Robert and Mark. Oh, Granny, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate that. And uh, we're going we're gonna to throw a, uh, that YouTube video that went viral. Oh, we'll throw no. it up on our website oh, for everyone to check out at DaveHoward.com. <laughs> Anyways, folks, on behalf of everyone from Atwood Magic Studios, on behalf of Alyssa Hurst, Robert Kay, and Granny. Margaret. <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> I'm David J. Atwood, and remember, if you want to make the world a better place, love your kids. Like the show on Facebook at facebook.com slash the Dave Atwood Show. And follow us on Twitter at Dave Atwood Show. Everything you ever wanted to know about the Dave Atwood Show, including live events, merchandise, and contact information, as well as archived episodes, is available at DaveAtwood.com. That's so weird! It was weird and extremely hot. <laughs>